ahead of this number, the amount we paid out for the variable overhead portion. And then the accumulated depreciation is going to go up in the credit direction of the 63. And that means that the negative sum of those, the debit then, will be this here. So that's what's going to happen. Our inventory then is going to go up once again, finished goods. I'm going to double click on it, go to the end of it. So we've put the raw materials in there. We put the labor in there and now we're putting the overhead into the, into our inventory. And then cash is going down. So I'm going to double click on that. Cash is going down. And then accumulated depreciation is going up by that 63 right there. All right. So then let's mark that one off. That one is done. So we can scroll down and say, okay, we have that one. And then we got the selling expenses here. So I'm just going to pick all of those up at one. I know they broke them out into two and we probably should break them out, but uh, we're just trying to check if we're in balance. So I'm just going to say that those are all basically selling and admin. Uh, copy those. They're not part of the inventory. They're not going into the inventory. And that's going to be the equal to this amount down here. Da, 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 down, down, down to this total. I'm just going to pick up the total for the whole selling and admin right there. And the credit will then be here. And that's going to go to cash. All right.